welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you are here today. Before I get started, just a quick reminder, don't forget to subscribe. So today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I am going to reveal to you the secret to how it is that I can wear so many different colors of wigs. I get asked this question all the time, so I'm happy to share this information with you in just a minute. So the first color that I am wearing, this is Beltra Summer Peach, and this is Roca Margarita Blonde. I never in a million years would have dreamed that I could make a color this light work with my skin tone, considering the fact that my natural hair color is the same color as my eyebrows, which is a medium dark brown. And then I also have a lot of white going through my hair too as well. Maybe because I have the white going through, but I don't really think the white looks that great with my skin tone, to be honest. So. The key to how I make all these colors work is, first of all, I'm gonna talk about makeup, then I'll tell you what the secret is to how I make all these colors work. So as far as makeup, a lot of women do change their makeup, and if you're good with makeup and you can make you know different makeup work with different colors, good for you. I am a creature of habit with my makeup. I put it on the same way every day, every you know every wig every wig review everywhere i go i just get comfortable with colors and those are the ones that i tend to stick with so i right now i have on it's kind of a it's actually kind of a coppery brown in the uh crease and then i have a lighter color you know on the lid and a little darker color here like a darker kind of a cocoa brown on the corner and then a light light cream on the main part of the lid. And I wear that, I wear these colors all the time because they just seem to work with my skin tone. I wear the same color blush, which is sort of a plummy mauve. And I wear the same color lipstick, which again is a mauve. Um, sometimes with my eyeshadow, I will switch up and wear some of the mauves and a little bit of purple on my eyes. But normally when you see me in every single wig review, I am wearing this makeup. I just don't play around a lot with makeup. I'm not adventurous with makeup, so I don't change my makeup. The only thing that I will occasionally change is sometimes I will find that this lipstick is too dark for a certain color and I'll go with just a little bit lighter mauve lips, still mauve, pinky, you know, that tends to work with my skin tone. So the way, the secret to uh, how I make all these colors work is what I am wearing. You will notice if you watch enough of my videos, if you see me in a light color like this, you're probably gonna see me in navy, in black, or in royal blue, because those are all really good colors on me. They're good neutrals for me to show you these colors. I never wanna have on a top that's too distracting, you know, that takes away from the wig and that just, it's just too much going on on camera. So, you know, if anything, I'll do a floral or maybe a colored, you know, colored top, but I'm never gonna wear anything super crazy. I also tend to not wear stripes, vertical stripes, particularly because Vertical stripes can actually give people migraines. They've given me migraines before in videos. So I'm considerate of you all whenever I am doing a video. So, so fun thing. So let me show you. I've got some tops here and they're different tops that I've worn for my reviews. So you see how great this color looks with this navy top. It just, you know, it makes the wig shine. The wig is the focus. And you know, when you've got great hair on, that's what you want to be the focus. But if I was to go and put on white with this, it just doesn't really do it justice. You know, it's just not the right color for this particular hair. So the navy or maybe a black, I have a black top. Black would work with this. That's cute, but I still like the navy better. A little bit of white in the black is not bad. But again, I just felt, I just feel like the navy works. So play around with these colors. Play around with what you have in your closet and figure out which one works. So I'm gonna to change to a different wig and we'll look at another color top. Okay, so now we are wearing, or uh, we, I am wearing Glamorize Always by Gabor. And this color is their Shaded Sangria. So ruby red, bright, bright red. Again, not a color that I would picture myself in. And I chose white because I felt like other colored tops, I had to try some color, some different colors on because I was like, should I wear black with that? Which, but the colors were really taking away from the pop of this wig. So I decided to just go with a white top 
because I look good in white and I knew white would work well with my skin tone. And then white really shows off this gorgeous color. Let me show you if I was to have that navy on with this color. I mean, it's okay, but it doesn't make the color pop like the white does. Or let's say I was gonna put on pink. Mm -mm. I just don't like the color with my skin tone if I have on, let me turn it around so you can't see any of the white, if I have on pink. It just doesn't work as well. Now, I mean, some of you may look at this and think, I think you look great in the pink with that red hair. But for me personally, I'm just trying to think of the best colors to show you these wigs in. So whenever I make my videos, just know that I'm really trying hard to, you know, really make these colors pop and show for you. And I think if I was gonna wear this color, since this is such a drastic difference from what I would normally wear, I would definitely go with, go with this white top or one of my white tops, you know, because it just, really looks good with the color. The color is the focus. The color is amazing. It's beautiful. So why not let this hair color be the focus as opposed to, you know, what color I'm wearing? Okay, so now I am wearing Riley by Henry Margu, and this is the color 16H. So you can see 16H is a very light, warm blonde, unrooted. So honestly, you know, to wear out, I probably would want to wear a rooted blonde. I always prefer if I'm going to wear blonde, I wear a rooted blonde just because I want my eyebrows to look natural with the hair color and everything. But whenever I'm doing a review, if I look at a color like this goldy, you know, light blonde, I think to myself, who, what's the skin tone of the women that I would see in this hair color? And that would tend to lean towards like spring colors, you know, uh, so that's why I would go with something that has some pinks in it. Um, I wouldn't go with like a solid white with this because I think it would wash me out too much. You know, I need a little color. I also need a color that's going to make my lipstick pop and my makeup pop a little more because this color tends to wash me out just a little bit. So do you see what I'm saying with, you know, the kind of the method to my madness here with choosing which, you know, which top to go with which color. I think that this lighter pink top would also be cute with this. I think I could make that work. Again, you're talking about a spring type color palette, you know, a light color. And then I've got a fuchsia top. I'm curious to see what I think of the fuchsia. I can't remember what top I wore when I reviewed this. I should have gone back to look. So here's a fuchsia top. Oh yeah, that looks pretty. I think I might've worn this fuchsia. So again, I'll use, I'll, I'll wear fuchsia because fuchsia is really good with my skin tone or these pinks and mauves and, you know, cranberry wine colors. Those are good with my skin tone. And so it allows me to pull off this hair color for the review and have it photograph well and video well and show it to you all, you know, in case it's a great color that you'd like. Okay, so now I am wearing Real Deal by Raquel Welch. And this is the color Shaded Wheat, which is, let me remind myself if I can read it, 1422 SS. So this is a really pretty blonde, I would call it. It has more blonde in it than it does brunette, but it's gold and it's warm. It's rooted, so I like it with my eyebrows. I tend to look best in neutral to warm colors, but I, but I am able to make those cool colors work depending on what top I'm wearing. But, you know, regularly on a, on a normal basis, I don't tend to wear really cool colors. I tend to lean more towards warm colors because they just, I feel like they look better with my everyday skin tone. So you can see the beautiful blondes and brunettes that are in this pretty shaded wheat. Shaded wheat has become one of my favorite colors. And this is another color that, you know, when I first started wearing wigs and I would see this on people that I thought, you know, I used to think that certain people look good in blondes and certain people look good in reds. And I still think that is true to some extent. There are definitely some reds that I don't like on myself, some blondes that I don't like on myself. Like that Henry Margu, I just think that one without the rooting and without much dimension to it, I don't really like that color on me. But, you know, when you put it with this one, so this these colors are not terribly far apart. This one's just richer, it's got more warmth, it has the rooting to it. So I like it better with my skin tone, it just works better. So for this particular color, I can wear anything. So I put on this cute little leopard top that I wear in a lot of my reviews. I think I could wear pink with this. I could wear this cute top with it. You know, I could wear my white top. 
all my tops are getting all jumbled up here. I could wear white, I could wear black. I mean, just about anything, you know, would work because this is just one of those colors that's a good color for me. So if you know those colors, then you don't have to worry so much about, you know, what you're wearing. You may still find that, you know, what you're wearing clashes a little bit with the color. And so you'd say, oh, well, I think I'd rather wear this color versus this color. But you just have, you know, it's you're, you're just open to wear more things and not have to coordinate as much if you have a color that you know is one of your go-to wheelhouse colors. Okay, this is Peppermint by Beltress, and this is the Brown Sugar Sweet Cream, which Brown Sugar Sweet Cream is another color on me, just like the Shaded Wheat. It's just a little bit darker, um, maybe a little bit more ash um, than the Shaded Wheat, and but it's just a really easy color for me to wear. It's a great bronze, you know, brunette that has a lot of highlights, a lot of blonde in it, but still has enough of the brunette that it feels, you know, like my natural hair color, like it is the brunette. So this is one of those that I feel like I could wear just about any color with. Now it's funny because I put this top on and I probably, if I was getting ready to go somewhere and I knew I wanted to wear my peppermint wig, if I put this top on, even though it looks okay with it, I would probably say, you know, I think I want to wear a different color with that. I would probably want, I would probably go more with this top, with this one, because for one thing, I already know that I love this wig with this top. I think this is the top I wore in the review and I love this top anyway, but um, you know, I just think, I think this color looks a little better, but it's not like I can't wear this color with it. This is just a very natural looking color on me, this wig color. And so, you know, I have lots of options. So let's say, let's see what black looks like. Yeah, I could do black with this hair color. It wouldn't be bad. It's not my favorite but um, my favorite would be that previous top, that um, one with the cranberry and pretty flowers on it. But, you know, but I could get away with, you know, wearing black with this color as well, because this color just works really, really easily with my skin tone. Okay, last but not least, let's look at a really, really light white color. So this is Arctic White by Gabor. Also, I think it's also a Raquel Welch color because these are, this is from their, this is best in class from their new collection. And this is in the true to life colors that are just like the Raquel Welch colors. So, so if I'm gonna review a white, again, I'm gonna go back to my navies and my blacks. So this top works because it has enough navy in it. And I thought it was really fun. I thought it was fun to kind of contrast the white with the navy, it wasn't too much white where it would, you know, really um, like, you know, bleach me out. So, but I could also wear black with this and that would be pretty. Same makeup, remember, haven't changed my makeup in any of these. I could go with solid navy with this. Or I could go I could probably do this leopard top because it's got the black and the white. Again, the contrast. Oh yeah, that would be cute. I'd be comfortable in that. It's almost too much white though for the hair. But I would not want to do my solid white with my white. Now, some of you out there might be able to wear white with white hair. You know, I'm not saying that you guys can't, but I'm saying for me, I think the solid white, would it would just be too much white, you know? For me to show this to you or to wear this wig now, i'm this i'll be honest this is not a color that i would wear out i'm not i'm not quite there yet still hanging on to you know my colored hair <laughs> but i think these whites are beautiful and i love showing them for those of you that need to see these colors you know but again probably would not wear white with this because it would just for one thing be too much white the navy really helps this color to pop it really shows this color off and the black does the same thing you know just really makes this color pretty shows it off, shows how beautiful this Arctic white really, really is. And again, I don't have to change my makeup. Okay, and I'll wrap things up wearing Ellen Villa Dance in Mocha Rooted. So just to show you, you know, a, a brunette, this is an auburn -y brunette. It doesn't, the auburn is not super, super auburn in this one, but this is one of my favorite colors by Ellen Villa. And uh, so again, this is a color that will work on me with any color that I put on. I could wear the pink. I wear this color. I wear this wig all the time, even though it's a couple years old and I really need to get a new one. But you can see I could wear pink with it. I could wear the black and white with it. I could wear the white with it. 
you know, pretty much any color will work with this particular hair color because this is so close to my natural color. So, you know, this is my color I was born with. A little better though. <laughs> healthier looking than what I've got now, of course. But, um, you know, I always grew, when I was growing up, I always had medium brown hair. So this is a medium brown with a little auburn in it. In the summer, I would get some auburn highlights. So very, very similar to the hair that I used to have. So, um, you know, e just easy hair color for me. So remember those easy colors for you, you can probably wear just about anything with. So I hope you found this uh, little video helpful. Um, you know, these wigs are all available at Pinky Promise. If you're interested in any of these styles, just ask me down in the comments, you know, and I can send you a link uh, to purchase any of these wigs. But um, so I just thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves. And until next time, don't forget, you're absolutely beautiful. Bye.